So hello everyone, this is part two of the video. So now we're going to be using Excel to uh, graph our means and our standard deviations. So the first thing we want to do is open up Excel. All right, um, so once we have Excel open, I'm going to show you also how to calculate your averages and your standard deviations on Excel. And that way you can also double check with Jump to make sure it was done correctly. So again, I'm just going to create that same table we had in the jump file. So we had treatment, and then we had root biomass. So I, I'm just going to come over here and uh, copy uh, this and paste that into Excel, and then copy the data from. Um, copy the data from jump into Excel also, just so I keep the same numbers. Okay, so now there's, <clears throat> to calculate the averages is we want the averages for fertilizer and averages for no fertilizer. So here, um, I'm just going to create a separation between uh, these two. I'm going to bold this just so we see it. This would be average. Actually, I need a second one that is for standard deviation. Okay, so abbreviated SD. So to calculate the average, real simple, you hit equal, parenthesis, and then select your data. All right, so see here is calculating the averages for the values from B2 to B11. Oh, sorry, you need to type in average. So equal A V E type in average parenthesis and then select your data. And so right here our average is 6.9. And then for our standard deviation we do equal S T D E V. Alright. Parenthesis And here our standard deviation is 2.024. All right, so again, equal standard deviation, parenthesis, and then highlight the data you want to calculate the standard deviation for. <clears throat> so we'll just pull that also. So now we want to do the same thing um, for our no fertilizer. So instead of doing all of that again, we can actually just highlight the cells that we're, we want to copy. So we'll copy this again, just Command C or Control C, and then to paste it, just quick shortcut Command V on a Mac or Control V on a PC, and it automatically transfers that formula here. So it automatically now calculates um, the average and the standard deviation for the no fertilizer. Okay, and looking at our jump output we see that we get the same number 6.9 and 2.02 14.7 and 1.49 okay so now we want to graph our averages and our standard deviations so to do that um, for me just the easiest way is just to separate these things out now so I'll have a fertilizer and no fertilizer and I'm gonna put in I'm just going to copy the, I'm just going to bring these here. So this was 6.9 and the standard deviation was 2.02. And for the no fertilizer was 14.7 and 1.49 <clears throat> for the standard deviation. So to make a graph of this, all I'm going to do is highlight um, my treatments and my averages, insert uh, chart. So this comes up and what I'm looking for is a column graph. All right, stay away from the 3D graphs. Um, they may look nicer, but they tell you a different story. So we're looking for 2D um, column graphs. So we'll click on that. And here is our nice graph. So for me, preferably, I just I'll delete these um, 
these axes lines. Okay, so the way we're going to add our standard deviation is we want to come here into our, our graph area and click on these charts and you'll see both of these get highlighted. So what we want to do here is double click and this window will pop up and we want to come here to where it says error bars and we want to for display we want it to be both so it gives us a positive and a negative and we want it to have a cap okay so this right here is just the default from Excel so it's a fixed value what we want to do is go down to custom and then specify value so when I click this that box disappears and then the smaller box appears so this little box allows you to select your uh, custom error bars so here we have a positive error value and a negative error value so we'll click right here this little symbol here was a red arrow we'll click on that and we're gonna highlight the 2.02 .02 and the 1.49 okay and then so that gives us um, the top part right here and then now we want the negative portion so we're gonna do the same thing and select the same numbers again and that gives us our positive and our negative error values so see now it gives us our custom and we hit OK and now we're done so that's it that's you know pretty really simple to do to add your averages um, and then your standard deviations don't forget about uh, labeling your axes. So on the Mac, it's real easy to do. You can just go to horizontal, um, and this it will be our treatment. And then we want our vertical, and this will be uh, root mass in grams. Okay, so we have our entire graph labeled properly and we have our standard deviations okay so I hope this helps you guys making your graphs and your standard deviations um, or plotting your standard deviations onto your graph and if you didn't watch the first video on jump it's also posted alright well hope this helps you guys out and uh, have a good one